So now a slightly different situation. What we see now is um, that we attack him from the other side. So he is pointing initially not to the rider or horseman to our right side. He's now aiming for the horseman to our left side. And we take this and we're going to attack him. Come on. From the other side. So when he gets aware of us, he had to change the target and push and charge to our head. So he does a step forward, pushing this to our head by this. So we may get distracted when he hits us, or at least we were forced to avoid this thrust. And then you see he's protected behind his pike again. And we are forced to retreat or we come back to a situation like in play number one, just mirror sided that when we now, you see, going to strike him, we really looking at this point. So Paulo Sector Meyer writes then, bring the end to the earth and make sure you are in a proper guard. So we can't harm him or he describes us his perspective. So he can't harm you anymore. And you see, I really can't harm him anymore. Beside, I would change through, but he can protect him. Or when he, when he see that I change through, step forwards and do the same thing again with his push to my head and bring it back down. So you can just do the same, change the grip, go to the back through the initial guard then again. So he picks it up again, comes through, and then he's very close to us. Oh. And also there's the, the matter of timing that if we do it in a, in a charge, after this, we can't harm him anymore. We are in a forward movement and we can choose to run through him or to retreat. Oh, there's something on the ground. Yeah. And um, just run away and try another attack run. Thank you for watching. Um, we are very looking for your comments and we are very, very happy to get any feedback. Just if you like it, what we do, um, let us know. And so far, yeah, stay crazy. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, Leonard. Thank you, Valle. Thank you, Fabian. For, for doing this uh, Quatsch with me. Thank you, Felix. <laughs> and thank you, Felix. Uh, yeah. Can we go now? Somewhere there must be food. <laughs>